Have you ever wondered about the ancient African gods that ruled over the elements, nature, and the destiny of humans? Do you want to discover the secrets and mysteries of one of the oldest and richest mythologies in the world? If so, then you are in for a treat, because in this video, we will reveal the 11 powerful African gods of Yoruba mythology. Yoruba mythology, a significant African tradition, is a collection of stories and beliefs of the Yoruba people, particularly in West Africa. It has influenced religious and cultural traditions in Brazil, Cuba, Haiti, and other parts of the Americas. This video is a must-watch for anyone who is interested in African culture, history, and spirituality, or who simply wants to expand their knowledge and imagination. So, make sure you watch till the end, because you don't want to miss any of the amazing details and insights that we have prepared for you. Let's get started. Number 1. Ogun, the god of iron, war, and technology. Ogun, the first of the Orisha gods, is associated with bravery, fairness, and ingenuity. He used his iron machete to travel through the jungle and teach others how to forge and work with metal, enabling them to create better tools, weapons, and crafts. Ogun is the patron of people who labor with iron or metal, including blacksmiths, hunters, and warriors. He is depicted as a powerful warrior with iron armor and a helmet, often carrying a gun or rifle. Ogun's emblems include iron, the dog, and the palm frond. He is revered for his contribution to human culture and technology, but he is also feared for his aggressive temperament. Number 2. Shango, the god of justice, dance and virility. Shango, a powerful human monarch of the Oyo Empire, was a devoted and loving ruler who used diplomacy and conquest to expand his kingdom. He was a master magician and studied thunder and lightning under Oranmila. Shango used magic to defend his people and exact revenge, but he also developed hubris and recklessness. Tragically, he lost many of his people when he set fire to his castle. His death marked the beginning of his metamorphosis into an Orisha, a Yoruba god. Shango is admired for his strength, cunning, and fearlessness, protecting dancers, drummers, and twins. He is a complex and erratic deity who can be kind, envious, generous, or jealous, depending on the situation. Number 3. Oshun, the goddess of rivers, sweetness and sensuality. Oshun is the youngest Orisha, the daughter of Yemaya, Obatala, Shango, and Oya. She is the goddess of fresh water, particularly rivers, streams, and waterfalls, and is known for her love and fertility. Oshun is the patroness of artists, ladies, and kids, representing happiness, contentment, and pleasure. She is personified by happiness, tenderness, and sensuality, and is known for her beauty, generosity, and kindness. Ocean is depicted as a youthful, lovely lady with a sunflower crown, honeypot, fan, mirror, and comb. Number 4. Yemaya, the goddess of the sea, motherhood, and protection. Yemaya is the goddess of water, the ancestor of all living things, and the wellspring of creation. She bestows prosperity and abundance on her offspring, and is the patroness of those relying on water for livelihood. Yemaya is known for her compassion and love, and is descended from numerous Orishas. She is personified by knowledge, beauty, and elegance, and is often depicted as ferocious, strong, and unpredictable. She is depicted as a beautiful lady with a star-studded crown, a blue and white ensemble, and sometimes a sword. Number 5. Oya, the goddess of transformation and renewal. Oya, a potent Orisha, is the guardian of the cemetery, spouse of Shango, sister of Oshun and Yamaya, and represents various aspects of the natural world and human existence. She is the goddess of wind, storms, and change, and represents regeneration and metamorphosis. Oya is the epitome of unpredictability, independence, and fierceness, and is often depicted wearing a nine-colored veil and a brown and purple costume. She is often depicted riding a horse or water buffalo, with the wind, buffalo, and number nine as her emblems. Number six, Eshu, the trickster, the messenger, and the crossroads. Eshu is a powerful Orisha who serves as a bridge between the human and divine worlds, transporting people's offerings and prayers to deities. He is proficient in various earth languages and is the master of destiny, custodian of the Holy Ifa Oracle. Eshu is known for his wit and intelligence, creating trouble, confusion, and mayhem. He can be a teacher, tormentor, friend, enemy, or hindrance. Eshu is depicted as a youthful, nimble figure dressed in red and black with cowrie shells as emblems. He offers offerings such as corn, beans, peppers, and palm oil. 
Number 7. O Batala, the god of creation, wisdom and purity. O Batala, the earliest Orisha, is the brother of Odudua and son of Olorun. He is the first to shape the human body out of clay and is the patron of those aspiring to wisdom and knowledge. Obatala was chosen by Olorun to create the world and its people and is responsible for the malformed or impaired people. He protects them from danger and prejudice and takes the color white as a symbol of purity. Obatala is depicted as an elderly, wise man with a beaded crown, white robe and various emblems including snail, clay, cotton, coconut, rice, milk and water. Number 8. Orunmila, the god of divination, knowledge and destiny. Orunmila, the brother of Obatala and the first son of Olorun, is the deity of creation and knowledge, the father of several Orishas, and the source of wisdom and understanding. He is the deity of divination and fate, sharing custody of the holy Ifa oracle with the trickster deity Eshu. Orunmila is the epitome of mystery, knowledge and omniscience, enjoying teaching, exploring and learning. He is fair, serene and patient, and he can change appearance and form at will. He is depicted as an elderly sage, with a feathered cap, green and brown hues, and emblems like a chain, tortoise, and palm tree. Number 9. Olokun, the god of dreams and souls. Olokun, the ocean deity, holds the secrets of the ocean and bestows success and fortune to his followers. He is the patron of visionaries, poets, artists, and those aspiring to learning and understanding. Olokun rules over the subconscious and afterlife, taking in the spirits of the deceased and making the wishes and worries of the living known through their dreams. He is the deity of regeneration and transformation, empowering his people to overcome obstacles and change their course in life. Olokun is depicted as a man or woman with a shell crown, blue and white clothing, a mask and ocean emblems. Number 10. Osanyan, the god of herbs and nature. Osanyan, the owner of the forest and master of herbs symbolizes harmony and balance in the natural world. He controls seasons, cycles of life, and the variety of flora and animals. Osanyan is known as the deity of wisdom and study due to his ancient knowledge of the Ifa religion. He is reticent, cautious, and enigmatic, often depicted as a bird or leopard. Osanyan is depicted as either a man or a bird with a featherhead cap and green and brown colors. He presents leaves, seeds, almonds, and honey. Number 11. Let's end the video with the last powerful African god of Yoruba mythology. Osun is the god of hunting, fishing and animal husbandry. Osun, the deity of fishing, hunting and animal husbandry, is the spouse of Yamaya and brother of Oshun. He is the owner of land and animals, providing food and nourishment to worshippers. Osun is the deity of boldness, devotion and exploration, exemplifying both kindness and arrogance. He is responsible for maintaining the balance of the ecosystem and the fertility of the land. Osun is depicted as a powerful and attractive figure with a feathered crown, green and yellow clothing, and a symbol of feathers, animals, and the earth. He is also the patron of farmers, fishermen, and hunters. Conclusion In this video we have revealed the 11 powerful African gods of Yoruba mythology, such as Ogun, Shango, Oshun, Yamaya, Oya, Eshu, Obatala, Orunmila, Olokun, Osanyin, and Osun. We have learned about their origins, attributes, symbols, stories and powers, as well as how they relate to each other and humans. We have also discovered some of the lesser known facts and events that shaped their history and mythology. We hope you have enjoyed this video and found it informative and engaging. Yoruba mythology is one of the most diverse and rich mythologies in the world, and it reflects the culture and spirituality of the Yoruba people, who have a long and proud history and heritage. Thank you for watching this video. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel, where we post more videos like this every week. We appreciate your support and feedback, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.